Science! Welcome to Allie and Coco Science Show! I'm here with my sister and Colette's, co Colette's cousin, that's Gambit, and JD over there. And we are doing a really fun DIY kind of fun kooky experiment thing. So today we are using lots and lots of trash and recyclables and mostly plastics and styrofoam and we are going to make animal trash art. So, so today what we're going to do is we can make an animal. We're going to have a time limit of one hour and we can use any of the supplies behind us as well as we have some <laughs> some glue <laughs> uh, and along the way we'll be giving you some cool facts about all the pollution that we are a part of on this planet ready yes let's go <laughs> This is my pile. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> is going to be around for at least 500 more years. That's a long time. I'm going to try and make a camel, like a disco camel. So we'll see how that works. <gasps> hey, Coco, did you know 80% of the trash in the ocean gets there from inland sources? It rains, and it floods, and it goes to the river, and the river goes to the ocean, and then the trash is in the ocean? Okay guys, so I'm gonna be making a coral reef. So I've got all these styrofoam boxes that I'm gonna make into my reef. I'm gonna use some paints to make it different colors. And then these I thought would be some cool rocks formations. Got some future seaweed and turtles, and maybe a sea urchin. I don't know, but I'm gonna make a full coral reef theme with different animals. So, Gambit, yeah, help me. <laughs> He's useless. Judy, help me. Gambit, yeah, Judy. Like, Clint's like, do you need help? I'll help you. Thank you, Glenn. You're so Oh, I just burned myself with a hot glue. Oh, oh my god. What do I do? Let's film it. Oh my god. Oh, oh I know. It's horrible. Do I just wait till it dries? Take it off of you. Oh, what? Guys, all of our plastic and trash is horrible for animals. They eat it because they think it's their food or they can't find anything else. So then they get sick and then they can't eat any food or they get caught and tangled in it and then they can't come up for air. And it's so, it's just, it just is so horrible. Did you know gyres are naturally occurring currents all over the world made by the turn of the earth? Did you know the South Pacific Gyre is the largest of all the garbage patches? It's twice the size of Texas! That's a lot of trash!
Did you know in the United States we use 500 million straws a day? These plastic straws, 500 million every single day. And then we use them once and then we just throw them away, but there is no way, they gotta go somewhere. Where are they going? They're going to the ocean. Straws are in the top 10 tra trash items picked up off the beach every year. <laughs> I made a camel. His name is Samuel the Camuel, and he loves glitter and disco. So, and he has glasses. Yeah. So my artistic piece is a um, metaphor for our dirty lives in the ocean. So what I have is I have some eel friends that are hanging out of this little tunnel. And I've got some beautiful jellyfish because a lot of sea animals accidentally eat jellyfish or accidentally eat trash bags thinking they're jellyfish, so I replicated that. Um, I've got a lionfish. Lionfish are actually invasive species in the United States. And here's a sea urchin because they're cute. And then I did paint this coral on purpose not because I got tired of painting. It's actually to talk about coral bleaching and the loss of the beautiful animals in our coral reef ecosystem. So that, that's my art. We encourage you to try your own recycled sculptures today. So when you get home, go ahead and take all the recyclables, think of your favorite animal, and make your favorite artistic scene with your recycled art. If you use the hashtag Coco's Trash Challenge, and put a picture on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook. I'll go ahead and take a look at that and feature some of my favorites on my next video. Yum. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. JD. Hey, JD. What you doing? You having a good day? Yeah. Oh, oh, no, no, Gambit, no. <laughs>